Hey all, Russ here, Revere TV. Welcome. Check it out. Open up the Starlink. Actually, you're going to see a little behind the scenes test. Let me get this plugged in. There you go. There's the router. Little lights on. We are powered up. Gonna get some Wi Fi going out here. I'm doing a review on a EcoFlow Delta Pro. We got power. Computers on. We've got the rough air fan. And everything is running off this battery. I got the entire van hooked to it. Anyway. There's actually going to be a full review coming out about it. You're not supposed to see this yet, so don't tell. <laughs> but isn't that cool? No more generators. With Black Friday coming up, uh, a lot of these uh, companies are going to be running all kinds of specials. So I'm getting bombarded with requests, which helps the channel. It, it really helps me do this kind of travel. So I don't do too many reviews, do a few. I got this one and uh, three e-bikes coming up over the next couple of weeks. That's about it. Still pretty cool though, running this whole thing off the battery. I'm down here in Quartzsite. We're at the extreme northwest end of town off Tyson Street. This is a state trust land out here. I like coming out here. You can actually camp here for like two weeks straight. You got to get a permit through the state. I think it's 15, 20 bucks. You do it online. This place will fill up here in just a few weeks. Boy, that Starlink, I had just, that's the cat's meow for internet. If you're doing this kind of travel or any kind of travel. Kind of one of my favorite times to be down here when no one is here yet. There's a look. This is the northwest corner. Big church down there, that Alliance Church. That's Tyson Street, and the one parallel to that is Kofa. But no one's out here. All kinds of gold mines out that direction, up in the mountains. That's why they call it Quartzite, full of quartz and gold. Off-road trails out this way. Always fun to come out here. I got to go vote today. Uh, that's why I had to drive down here. Check mail and vote. Quartzsite is my residence, so this is where I'm registered to vote. I do that every year. We're heading to Vegas next uh, Sunday. Peeling out. Heading strip. We're going to be up in Vegas area. Lake Mead, all that. All next this next coming week looking forward to that i guess lake mead's up like 20 feet see that cell tower right behind there that's the high jolly uh blm campground see a few rigs there's quite a few people starting to trickle in down here Town's getting a little busier. This really isn't an official run around Quartzsite one. Maybe we'll, we'll go over to the game store, check in, see what's happening. Then I have to go vote.
Oh, you know what else? I got a message. I think uh, Blake, Miner's Depot, is down. We may, let's stop, see if he's around. Quartzite always reminds me of, like, camp, you know, when you're gone all year and then you come back and see all your old friends again. <laughs> Love it. But this state land, it covers certain little uh, areas. We're going to drive past a little more going towards town. There's that big Alliance Church. They're always active. Got a lot going on there. Nice homes out this way. And I think down here near the end there's a RV park. It's kind of neat out here. No one can build behind you. That's all state and government land. You know what else is cool? Right here off to the left, people have taken the time. They put up uh, flags for golf. The guys come out and they, uh, you know, with not nine iron, eight irons, hit golf balls. And Got their own little golf course here. Right there, there's your first tee. <laughs> Isn't that fun? Something to do. There's another back behind where we were by the state land. There's a bunch of golf holes out there. Quartzite Country Club. I always call it rock and chip <laughs> instead of putt and chip. You want to bring some old clubs, you're going to hit a lot of rocks. Then here's uh, Tyson Wash. They put all them big boulders there. There's water that just roars through here like a river. Only well, takes a couple heavy rains. Get a good rain for three to four hours, these washes flood. They just close the road till it's over. And water here travels south to north. That road there takes you back into some more uh, state land. Ooh, there's a rig right there. There's a motorhome. He's camping. They're, they're on the state land. Looks like another trailer setting up. You're right in town and close to all the stores and everything right here. And here is one busy highway. It's the only highway that goes Clear down to Yuma and Mexico, all the way north. Very few highways do that. Straight across, fire department, medical center. Someone told me that Grubstick restaurant on the left, it's closed down for good. I really never went in there much. A couple times through the years. Here it is. This is Miner's Depot. Well, I see cars here. 
Well, let's see if uh, we can find old Blake. Then we get parked. Hello everybody and welcome back to Quartzite for 2023-24. This is Blake with Miners Depot and I just want to say hello to everybody and tell you that we're going to be open all winter. Uh, from November 1st we just opened and we'll be open until April 1st. So come by and see us to see the latest in gold prospecting gadgets from the newest metal detectors to dry washers and all the accessories that you need. We also buy and sell stuff so if you got some old prospecting junk laying around bring it by and we'll take it off your hands and help you get something new. Till then. We're located just a half a mile north of Main Street on Highway 95 in Quartzsite, Arizona, and we are open from 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. Wednesday through Sunday for November, and we'll be open seven days a week for the remainder of the season. Who's your favorite RV travel channel? Oh, uh, what's that guy with the blue van? Uh, White van. Oh, no, it was blue. It looks like a Volkswagen bus. Yeah, yeah. Oh, sorry. Yeah, no, yeah. RV or TV? Yeah, yeah, yeah. There you go, another year, Miner's Depot. You know, they got a gold camp now up in Alaska. Him and his wife, Lisa, they reside up there full time up in Alaska. Gold camp, all kinds of cool stuff. In the winter though, it gets 50 below zero. Wonder why he's here. <laughs> Okay, let's do this. I got plenty of time yet, I think. Let's run our Tyson Wells real quick. Thought we'd do a walk around, kind of fill up this video, see uh, how many seasonal vendors are here, and then I have to go vote. Okay, go over Interstate 10 here. Once again, this Highway 95 that goes all the way down to Yuma and then it goes way up through Havasu and all that. That is such a busy, busy highway. 24-7. The trucks are just constant on this north and south. But it's one of the few roads that go all the way down to the Mexico border. Okay, off to the right. See those metal buildings? That's Tyson Wells Showgrounds. Hard to believe we're almost at the end of the year or two. Thanksgiving, what, a couple weeks away? You know, one thing, when I get up to Vegas next week, I'll be there right before their F1 Formula race. I guess they've changed the whole downtown. We're going to see some of that up there. They put grandstands on the strip. Ooh, I see vendors. I see flags flying. Picture perfect weather. It's like about 80 degrees. A little bit of a breeze. In November. <laughs> I read too that El Nino, the weather system changes. It's supposed to have a wet winter according to all the predictions. Okay, here it is, game store. Before we go in there, let's take a quick walk. See who's open here. Gringos. They're out of Montana. Mexican food van out of Montana. They're there every year, right at the same corner here. Looks like they're open. So you can definitely get some food here. Big grocery store, I guess it's under new management, which is probably a good thing. Covers up a lot of real estate. You can buy old food, denim cans. You used to call it denim can store. I, don't, I forget what they call it now. Where the stuff is out of date or almost out of date. Busy place, a lot of people buy their food there. 
There you go. Incense. Different knickknacks. Ooh, here's some rocks. First look at the rocks. Rock and Gem Show starts January. There's a pink pig for you. <laughs> that lady's here every year. Very nice lady. Always sells all kinds of cool stuff. Lots of stuff in quartzite. <laughs> Jackets and vest and ammo. Hey, Serene's open. Look at this. Serene's dress shop. She's been coming here as long as I have. She's been vending here a long time. Hi, how's Ross? <laughs> Good, how are you doing? Good. RV or TV in town. How you be? The material is so nice. It really is. And it's USA made. <laughs> Very busy store. Be sure to stop in here and check out Serene's. Uh-oh, look at this. Look at this. Beer Bellies is open officially. Adult daycare center. <laughs> Get you some beer, food, outdoor music. They're open till, I'm not sure in the evenings. I better not say it because I don't know exactly, but there's beer bellies. Bright old dark. <laughs> then the big lot. The big empty lot right now. This will all change rapidly. Where it says closed. They'll start bringing in just tons of RVs. The big tent will go up. They'll clean up all the old sagebrush laying around. Every year, same thing. These lots will just fill up. It's kind of crazy how fast it that goes, too. Those white poles, that's all the entrances to the big tent. They leave parts of it set up. The anchors in the ground stay in year round. We'll film that later. All that's in December. Perfect weather. Just a little bit of a breeze there. The flags are barely uh, moving, huh? But, once again, these are seasonal guys. These guys will stay open clear till the uh, end of March. K&B, old Kenny. Been vending here, goodness, 20 years plus. Right here at Tyson, plus longer. He's He's been vending forever. Then Burley's over there, flags. I think he's even carrying uh, Starlink stuff now, mounts. He always has such a good looking uh, display out front, all the flags and everything. Pretty good setup. And across the street, there'll be uh, seasonal guys as well. That guy over there sells carpet and drill bits and stuff. Not open yet. And these guys on the front row. T-shirts, CDs, DVDs. Need a sign or banner? There's where you go come get one. Right here. This lot will fill up. And what we got up here are sunglasses and clothing.
And what's this one? Pet Patio. It's been bought and sold a couple times. They do a heck of a business here. Then right here in this corner is where that coffee trailer and food and donuts and all that. They'll be here soon. There's a game store. Well, what do you say? Let's go and bug uh, Kim Scott and Barb. See what they're up to. But nine to five, seven days a week. Hey, hey sir. Believe it or not, this old miner here. Believe it or not. Believe it or not. Hi, Rex. I'll tell you all about it. T-shirts. Hold. Oh, it's my T-shirts. All right, brand new. Huh? Brand new. All different sizes. Different sizes, different colors. We have pink. Oh, look at that! Hold that Pretty up. Pretty pink. Wow. I like it because it looks like it's been washed. It looks really nice, doesn't it? It does. So I like it. Blue. Let's see a blue one. Blue. Oh, yeah, they changed them this year. They look actually very nice. Kind of like a wash. Yeah, a wash out. It's nice. So. Right here, Tyson one. So. Pretty cool. <clears throat> All sizes. And other Tyson t-shirts, Arizona Peace Trail. I always thought that was a cool looking shirt. Game store here is one of the best places to find quartzite like coffee mugs and stickers decals magnets a lot of people like magnets and your own or your TV coloring book. Got two of them. Modern Nomad and Killer Campground Quotes. We did these a little bit darker. Bring them here. That's the Tyson Wells shirt. Right? This color and a brown one. Yep. Looks good. What's this thing? My sister made it for me. Oh. I don't hear him in here. That's it. There's your bird's eye look of uh, the two properties. Big tent property. Looks like a football field. Then Tyson Wells, 25 acres of, alone just in Tyson Wells. So imagine big tents, what, 15 acres? Busy I-10, downtown, quartzite. And there's the community of Q Mountain. And good old Q Mountain itself. Such vast history of the mining there. There's a, that old abandoned mine directly behind there. I will hike Q Mountain this winter. You know, on New Year's Day, they have an annual hike. You go right up that mountain. It's not very far, but it's... On a scale to 110 of toughness, probably about a 6. And there's Tyson Wash. And you'll see, look at all the trailers. That's uh, La Posa West. That one right there. A lot of people like it because they're right next to all the showgrounds. It's not the biggest camp area across as La Posa North. And farther out is uh, Tyson Wash and La Posa South. Pretty cool though. Pretty good look. There's a perfect before. 
Matter of fact, I'll fly this in a few weeks. You're going to see a major change here. Hey, be sure to get over my website, RVRTV.TV. Sign up for the newsletter. I'm trying to put one out twice a month. Approximately on the 5th and 20th. Sometimes we're a day or so off getting them out, but we do get them out. There you'll see all the latest upcoming things about travel. Also, I got a merch store at RVRTV.TV. Hats, t-shirts, all kinds of cool stuff. Christmas time's coming up. Grab a coffee mug or a hat. That helps support the channel and future travel videos just like this one at Quartzsite and all over the place. And I appreciate it much. Thank you. All right, we're at the west end of town. I've put it out off long enough. I gotta go vote check mail then uh, gonna start trucking north about three days I'll be uh, heading up towards uh, Lake Mead gonna camp up there gonna explore around uh, Vegas uh, I'm also hoping to get over around Mead view I don't know yet how much time and also depends on weather There's supposed to be a couple weather systems coming through I don't think much rain but that means wind and a lot of it those areas up there can just get awful in the wind. Anyway, fun little trip. Thanks for tagging along. I, I didn't know if I'd make a video of this trip or not. I wasn't. But I thought, why not? Because I had to film uh, that review and stuff. Which shows will be coming out soon, too. Because all the Black Friday stuff. Journey continues. Talk soon.